Hi friends, this is Reverend Myra and I am here with Mike Shields uh, from the Hope Board and we're here to invite you um, to a couple of wonderful ways to support our mission and our outreach in Haiti, Hope. And so on this weekend, uh, one of the ways that you'll be able to do that is we are having a special liturgy on Sunday at the 9.30 Mass uh, at Hochstein um, where we will celebrate uh, the work that's happening in Haiti will celebrate the legacy of Rosemary Trichy and the amazing uh, work that she has done there. Um, and that'll be at our 9.30 Mass. And so you'll get a chance to um, listen to um, Jim Myers and Paul Sanderson, who will be preaching for us uh, at the liturgies. It's very, very exciting to get an update on Haiti. Um, but I'm here with Mike Shields, and um, Mike's got an update uh, maybe can share with us kind of where Haiti is right now and uh, you know what we need to be thinking about as we prepare to offer our support uh, for this ministry on this weekend and then it's fundraiser which I'll tell you about in a few minutes. Thanks Reverend Myra um, and thanks for having us you know I've been with Hope and Spiritus over since 2004. I've very close to the launch of Alliance Santé Born, um, the Health Alliance, and in the earliest days when we formed that partnership with the Ministry of Health. And then we since those times have watched this organization grow from a small part-time clinic in Oboy, the main village center, to a health network that reaches 80,000 people there. Those of you who have worked with us for a long time know the sort of the whole picture there. Um, I've worked personally with people from Spiritus on some of the most important and foundational uh, projects that we've done, you know, Bill Welsh and Paul Sanderson and, yeah. and those guys putting in the, when the first water flowed into the hospital, this goes back to 2007. Just getting things up and running, moving from our clinic into the hospital, into what we call the capillary health model. Um, what I want to do now, because I know Jim Myers is going to be speaking at the homily, what I would do is just um, two things. I want to reinforce the value of the partnership that we have had with Spiritus Christi since you founded this, what was an outreach at that time, and the ongoing support that you've given, and then bring you into the current situation there um, where we've lost you know, our executive director in Rosemary, and we have, um, all of us who have been committed to this work have rallied around that to, to find a different way to um, go forward with this partnership and honor the commitments that we've made to the people in Bourne. And I think we're doing that in a different way, but in a way that would make Rosemary happy and proud. And I think, um, what we're facing now is a different kind of challenge on the ground in Haiti. There is always the social unrest and the, frankly, dysfunctional government that does so little um, to support a community, especially a rural community that's uh, so far removed from the political center. And then some recent disruptions that we've had with the government sort of, I would say, in knee-jerk mode, um, change the currency valuation, the rate at which we translate U.S. dollars into Haitian good, the local currency. Mm -hmm. And it has effectively cut the salaries of all of the staff by what they realize for spending power by 50%. So that's the big challenge that we're facing now. Yeah. And um, our job, you know, in partnership is to try to keep our staff of about 70 people um, healthy and whole so that they can keep the rest of the community healthy mm -hmm. and um, that's the what we're wrestling with right now so I think I'll leave it at that and leave it to Jim um, to tell the rest of the story I think you're going to hear from um, Patrick a key community outreach leader there and from Doc Tony um, as well in uh, little video snippets so looking forward to the rest of the weekend fabulous thank you so much Mike which means that it's more important than ever to um, support the fundraising efforts. And this year, we have an exciting um, new fundraiser. We're going to be doing cooking with Silstein's Pierre Felipe and Nika uh, Chirichi uh, Wilder, Rosemary Chirichi's daughter. 
Um, and that fundraiser, instead of having our pancake breakfast, which we've had um, yearly, we're going to be doing this on November 14th, Saturday, November 14th uh, at four o'clock here at Spiritus via live stream. So we hope you log in so that you can join us for our special fundraiser. You can learn how to cook uh, Haitian rice and beans uh, just in time for Thanksgiving and Christmas, that you can have a, introduce a special new dish and, uh, and have some fun with the cooking demonstration that Sosines and Nika will give for us. And you'll have a chance to hear testimonials from folks um, from Haiti and from uh, Rochester whose lives have been touched by this work um, that we've done in partnering with our friends in Haiti. And, um, and it's very exciting. And we get to really support this ministry that needs us more than ever. So I hope that you will join us uh, again this weekend, November 8th. At our 9.30 Mass, we'll have a special collection for Haiti. And then on Saturday, November 14th at 4 o'clock, join us live stream, Cooking with Sosteens and Nika. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Take care.